Hey everybody, I just want to do a quick video about Google Meet. Uh, I know a lot of people are asking questions about Google Meet, but in this video I'm going to show you how you can look at your uh, participants of your Google Meet in like a Brady Bunch view. I'm going to show you how you can get your participants to interact by raising their hand. And I'm going to show you how you can see your participants while uh, presenting on a different screen. These are all features that do not come with Google Meet, but we have some extensions that can uh, really help us out. So let's just get right to it. Uh, I'm going to go over the three extensions that's going to help you out and show you what they do. All right, for me to do that, I have to go into pre present view. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to present my entire screen. Okay, now that I'm presenting my screen, this is typically what we see. We see this screen here. But as soon as we leave that screen, uh, we lose all of our people and the interactions. The only time that you know that someone's interacting is when you hear that annoying little beep letting you know that you got a message in your chat. So let's fix it. First of all, let's fix the view. As you can see up here, this is something that you probably don't have. This is called grid view. This allows us to see all our participants kind of like the Brady Bunch view. The way that you do that is you go to the Chrome store and you add Google Meet Grid View. Now what that does is it allows you to kind of see that Brady Bunch view. All right, so that's a huge one. So if you hover over this and it's gonna default with the line through it, meaning the grid view is not on, but you could turn it on just by clicking it, okay? Uh, there are three options. When you hover over it, you could only show the participants with the video. You could hide the people that don't have the video. You could highlight the speakers, and you can include yourself in the grid. All right, the second thing. How can we get our students to interact? Uh, we have Zoom that allows them to raise their hand and do a couple other things. Well, now with another extension, and you can see it up here, uh, when you download this extension called Nod, uh, what it will do is allow students to give the thumbs up, kind of like in Facebook, and after a while it will automatically go away. They can do the heart face, the I'm um, confused face, the laughing hysterical face, the clapping, the golfer's clap, if you will, and my favorite, the hand raise. This is probably the most valuable. This will stay up here until the student exits it out or the teacher. So what you want to do for this one, go over to the Chrome store, download Nod Reactions for Google Meet. All right, uh, Jake Miller uh, posted this one on Twitter, so I'll give credit there. Um, and we'll go back into our Hangout. Now the last thing, uh, I like when, when I present, I like to see my people when I'm presenting. So how can we fix this? How can we present something but still see our people? All right. And that is the last extension. It's called Duelist. All right. So go to the Chrome store, get Duelist. And as I scroll down here, Duelist allows you to split your screen without having a second monitor. I use this all the time, but it works really well in Google Meet. So what you do is you go up, and I am going to go to Duelist. And I'm going to hit split screen, and I'm going to choose the three to seven ratio. So what that does, and I could pick anything. So here's something on the Western expansion. All right, I could pick anything here, and what that's going to do is bring up my amazing race for the Western expansion over here. Oh wow, me being able to still see uh my grid now you could switch these you can make them larger you can make them smaller okay but the best thing is is you're still seeing your grid here imagine people in here and if someone asks a question you're still able to see that so these are three different extensions and i will put them in the comments below but these are three extensions that could really take google meet to the next level